Big things are mooted for 24-year-old Cambodian Nu Srey Pom. The Kun Khmer world champion who overcame poverty and childhood bullies to become a martial arts star. Now makes her much anticipated one debut. Over 90 Kun Khmer wins. Victories also inside the Litway ring. Kampov translate her striking prowess into the mixed martial arts ring here in Bangkok. The 2018 World Litway Championship Female Fighter of the Year. Here is he. We're going to call her NSP for the match tonight. And tonight, in its entirety, no kick to the head of a ground that opponent, no spiking or suplex into the hand. She does not want to stand in trade with NSP. She wants to move very aggressive forward, get into the car. She's got a 100% finishing rate. She does not leave it to the judges. She's got the most finishes in one Adam Waite history. So, any way you cut it, this match will be entertaining, Mr. Cervello. Two knockouts, two submissions for the tiny doll, Rika Ishige. This one should be a ripper. Mixed martial arts rules. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape. It's the old sporting rivals, Thailand versus Cambodia. Rika Ishige, the old man. Put the final years. instructions for this one. Rika Ishige against Nuk Sri Pav. Nusrei Pop, Kun Kamai World Go. Champion. Rika Ishige, a 100% finishing rate. Can she negate the strikes? The Kun Kamai strikes of Nusrei Pop. NSP said that Rika Ishige is scared to get hit, so she should be terrified to get hit by me. NSP, we're doing NSP. We're doing NSP. Official NSP. 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 Oh. She's in the white shorts here. Rika Ishige and her shark entourage in the black. George Hickman in the corner of Rika. Chan Reach in the corner of NSP. I can't hear from Rika as it should be. Beautiful two punch combination. That had some sting behind it from NSP. She's got to move. She can't stand there and let Rika get close to her. Rika's going to try to back her up. She's not really, she's following her around. She's not really cutting the corner. She needs to step a little bit more. Oh, 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 oh. How do you do? She dropped Rika Ishige. Here comes the power. Here comes Kun Kamai. That's what she's got to be careful. Now she's got to get away from this clinch. She's got to swim those underhooks and create space. Rika's dangerous inside that clinch. She's trying to drag her down. You cannot stand toe to toe with a Kun Kamai world champion. Look at the knees to the liver here from NSP. A house on fire. Round. She got a little bit overzealous. She, got, she knocked her down and she got nice and close. And she allowed Rika to close that distance. But she's able to get away. Oh, smack bang! Rika doing a quick count of her teeth. She's in some bother here. The hands are too fast. NSP's got power. She's got speed. She's got determination. My word. Just have a look at how that woman is built. There's a left hook. She drops Rika again. Rika's got to get composed. She's got to stay calm when, uh, when NSP starts to flurry on her like that. You can see her hands coming up. She's got to duck under that for a double leg. Rika, if she continues to drop that left hand and doesn't move, is going to get knocked out here. NSP, a young lady on a mission to destroy Rika Ishiga. Rika reaches forward. And she finds a way to get Yusrei Bob on her back. Then it'll be Rika's world. Then it'll be Rika Bill. But at the moment, in the stand-up, it's all one-way traffic, and the traffic is driving towards Phnom Penh. Jab two again, straight down the centre corridor. NSP says, how do you like that? What have you got in return for me? No, she's just boxing Michael Schwell. She's not throwing any kicks. She's not hitting Rika on those. I say that she throws one. But she's throwing these kicks very deliberately. And she's not allowing anything to the body so Rika can't catch it. Big right hand. Oh, oh, and open in his pain. Oh, hook to a right cross. The old 3 2 combination. Beautifully executed. This Cambodian has come out smoking tonight. Rika, hard the ball.
ball to her feet. Though she is standing in front of NSP, she needs to be moving laterally. Roundhouse kick to the upper left ribs there from NSP. Again, left right, two punch combo. Plenty of movement from the Cambodian. Reset, says to Rike. Come on. Let's go, Tony Doll. Let's see what you've got. Big over. Right, try for the headache maker. SP mixes in these the strikes very well. She's got very linear punches in that one, two, but then she's also got those long looping punches, those hooks and that overhand right are landing marks. She's beautiful. And she's got confidence. She's got bucket loads of confidence, does the Cambodian, the Kunkamai world champion. Kunkamai, the national martial art of Cambodia. Powerful martial art. Tremendous striking accident. What the race in the first question. And you'll see the Kukuma strikes from one of the best here. Moose Ray Park. Rika's hands are low. Her chin is high. And that could be a recipe for disaster. The old 3 2 again there from NSP. I saw it with when. Jo Mary Torres did this to Rika Ishige. She was able to land that overhand right, but Rika's able to keep her hands a little bit higher. She's got her hands out in front of her face, but she's landing right there. Oh, now she was after the double leg. And this piece's got to turn. She can't allow Rika to get up and get the cage, but, or the ring, rather, because this ring favors the striker. The ladies throwing the elbows, the sharks in the audience like the elbow from Rika Ishige. What a round though from NSP, comes forward again, there's the heavy salvo off the right hand, Rika ties it up, beautiful move of the hips there from NSP. So she gets too close to Rika when she starts to flurry in. I like it when she keeps a little bit of separation and she keeps that distance, so she's able to land the shots and then move out. It's when she rushes in and she gets too close to Rika, that's when Rika has the opportunity. There's that nice, it looks like it was a glancing forearm, just caught her off balance and put her on her butt. But nice little, there's a nice little two hand, but then she was able to, she doesn't have her footing underneath when she attempts to rush in with Rika. And there's another hook. She's getting cut off balance, the game plan here. She's got to look for double legs off in these punches. That's the opportunity and grab that double leg. We're seeing NSP for the first time. Will Kunkamai champion also. 2018 World Lightweight Championship Female Fighter of the Year. That way, of course, the Burmese martial art. We see it in Myanmar. Incredible striking art. Great sport to watch. Similarities between Muay Thai, Lightway, and of course, Kunkama. Good outside leg kick there from NSP. Give instructions coming from the corner from George Hickman to Rika Rishigan. Don't forget under these global rule sets here, scoring is an overall contest, not round by round. If you were scoring round by round, though, certainly first round NSP. Yeah, the first five minutes have been all NSP. She's been able to land big shots, and she's also been able to have land kicks. She's been able to attack the legs, and also she's throwing body kicks as well, but none of these kicks are empty. She's not just throwing one kick. She's putting these combinations together. She's throwing two punches, three punches, and she's punctuating it with a kick. Just a larger athlete is NSP. She actually walks around about seven kilos heavier than Rika Rishige. The speed and the power in those very good hands of hers. Over 100 Kunkamai belts for NSP. And Rika's got to find a way to get her to ground. It will be interesting to see what Nusre Pop can do if she goes to canvas, if she's got anything in her arsenal. Outside leg kick, late check there from Rika. Rika goes downstairs herself. Shots the elbows on the inside, but they didn't stay there for long. This is part of our prelim show coming at you live from the Impact Arena in Bangkok, Thailand. It's a grand championship clash of legends. Nice kick to right hand there from NSP. Look at the size of her arms. What a specimen from Cambodia. She's changing things up well. She can go forward and she can be aggressive, but she can also wait for Rika to engage her first and then counter off of that. So it's hard for Rika to get a gauge on what her tempo is going to be because NSP keeps changing it. She's 
She's got to get better defense this time. She's not letting her hands drop. She's not getting caught with those punches the same way. What would George Hickman be telling Rika in the corner at the moment, Dragon? Well, I like how she's throwing the feints. You can see that she's changed that up. She's throwing a little bit of feints and a little bit of level change. But she has to wait for that moment right there. When she commits to that two, when she throws that right hand, she can duck under and go for a double leg. And 3-2, the left to right cross combination is bread and butter for NSP. You can see the way Rika reacts to the punches, like her hands are up and she's kind of flailing around to try to defend. She's not able to change levels to effectively get that takedown. No counters here from Rika Rishiga. Plenty of movement, but not a lot of action. And here Kim Ching actually saying to Rika Rishiga, I need more action. Just gets a little clipping with the right hand there from NSP. 145 remains, second round, NSP in control, the Cambodian in the white, the tie in the black. Right hand lead in there from Rika, tries for a meet and greet knee to no avail. She's trying to clinch from the upper body, so you can see that she gets close enough to get into a clinch, but there's no level change. She's not dropping down and attacking the legs. And so new NSP has kind of got that clinch game figured out where she can just pressure up into the cage or turn the you know, turn her around and get away from her. She's got to do something different with the takedowns. Is Rika hoping that NSP is going to tire here, trying to deliberately lead her into deep water? Quite possibly, but I mean, I think I, I counted off her record. Well, NSP has multiple five round matches. So she's used to going the distance. She's used to, you know, getting you know, a long time in that ring. And this is a ring, you know, so the ring typically is going to favor the striker. There's not a cage that you can press somebody up against with and start working on. Good counter right hand there from NSP. Under 40 seconds remaining, second round of three. Board of photographers and media here ringside. 30 seconds to the second round. Massive impact arena in Bangkok. Historic night of martial arts action coming your way, including our main event, the inaugural one Super Series Phantomweight World Muay Thai title. Good rocking right hand again there from NSP. There you go, that's what I was talking about. Get that double leg. But NSP was able, good hips. She was like a jack in the box. Straight back to her feet there, NSP, and she flips her arms and says, come on, Rika, let's go. Fires a right hand, two down, one to go. NSP in control. You were asking what was she was going to do when if Rika was able to get her to the ground and it was popped back up. You can just see the defense. You know, her arms aren't tight. They're not in the correct position. She's not parrying off correctly. Her hands are up. Her eyes are shut. She's just getting drilled in the face. But just like that, that was a knee off of the entry there as she was coming in. You know, Lushray used that range to stop the takedowns. And also, when she was getting taken down, she was able to pop right back up. Third and final round. And 29-year-old Rika Ishige, the tiny doll from Thailand, find a way to get win number five. But what a performance. What a one championship debut it's been so far from Yusei Pro of Cambodia. Her striking has been superb. That right-handed power, that lead-handed speed. Rika backs her up. She's got to commit here, is she got? I see the difference in the stance between these two athletes. See how NSP looks through her brow a lot more. Rika's chin is hanging out there very dangerously. Watch your finger. Got to be careful not to open up the fingers on the striking here. NSP warns Kim Chen. And you're probing the lead hand. Rika moves on. She had success at the late stages of the second round doing that. But they went to ground only briefly. That maybe gave some confidence to Rika. But NSP doesn't sit still when Rika gets that clinch. She immediately starts to circle out. So she's not, you know, Rika's not able to set her, settle into her clinch game. Her clinch game has been most successful up against the cage or the ring ropes. That's when she's able to drag people down. But NSP doesn't stay still. She's always moving. Rika Fanky here. 
MSP circling counterclockwise away from the power side of Rika and Kemchen going to warm both ladies. Okay. He wants more engagement here. Same size the arms of NSP. She's got massive legs on her as well. Good. Chat to the body. I like a little level change, that little faint, just to get, you know, NSP thinking about that. Just to let her know that, hey, I can't, I'm, I'm thinking about the takedown too. Don't get too comfortable with your hands. This one has pretty much been a striking contest. Only went to the ground for not even five seconds in the second round. Low kick there to the inside leg from NSP. And the three minutes remains now. Rika's got to find a way to put hands on her and get her down. NSP has slowed. Doesn't have the output she had in the first round or early on in the second. There may be an opening, a chance here for Rika Rishige to somehow swing the pendulum. Nishray Paul just kind of coasted at this point. She, this is really, she hasn't really put down the, the pedal to the metal. She's clearly ahead. I'd like to see her surge. You know, look for the knockout. Try to push the pace a little bit. See if you can get Rika to wilt. Two minutes, 15 now. Someone's got to tell that photographer ringside to kill that flash. That's very dangerous. NSP circling back into that left side. Nicely timed there from the Cambodian. That was wonderful. There's an inside biking. Jab two there from NSP. She continues to put down the points. <laughs> what can Rika Ishige do? She's just caught in that momentum of NSP. I've been looking to shoot in an or clinch up with her and try and get a takedown. Hands are low, chin is high. And NSP makes her pay for it. So now NSP is waiting for that engagement. She's not going first. She's changed up her strategy at counter puncher. And she has hit Rika again with the top of the forearm. These aren't clean shots at landing, but because of Rika's footwork, it's, she's getting caught off balance when she's landing with these strikes. She's trying to close the distance. She's just getting caught on one foot. And that's when the punch is coming over the top, raising her head and putting on her butt. That's the third time that's happened. One minute left in the final round. Chad Reach unearthed a new star in the mixed martial arts realm. A star in the making in New St. Paul. Haven't seen her ground game. We've seen a little defense. She sprung up from a takedown by Rika late in the second round. Her striking has been something else. It has been dominant again, 3-2, hook to right cross. Thirty seconds left in the final round. Thirty seconds ago, it's all for Rika Rishige to do now. It'll take a miracle, I feel, for the time. Is there a miracle in Bangkok tonight for Rika Rishige? NSP has been so focused, laser-like here in sense, and he rocks the jaw back again. NSP, she's got the opportunity right now, she could end it, but she chooses to end it on her feet. Rika had her moments in this match, but it was all NSP. What a debut for the Cambodian world champion. Here's Rika coming forward. That was nice. She came in, she landed the hook, but she wasn't able to capitalize on it. She wasn't able to push forward. There she is getting flurried on, getting rushed. Good performance from NSP. Welcome to one championship. Fantastic performance from NSP. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Blue Corner New Spain. The Cambodian flag flies high in Thailand tonight. Courtesy of that young lady and she is
a martial arts machine. She is a Kun Kamai world champion. And now she's a winner on the biggest martial arts stage of all, New Strapa. And coming up next,